YouTube, welcome back. I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas. I hope it was full of lots of food, lots of fun presents, and only the family members you enjoy. This video is going to be my 2014 year in review slash my plans for 2015. 2014 was a, it was a pretty good year for me. I don't know how many books in total I read. I'm guessing it's probably somewhere around 50, which is impressive considering I didn't have any reading goals for me. I was just kind of reading haphazardly. It was really the year of, of Star Wars for me, and even kind of going back into the end of 2013. Half of the books that I read this year were Star Wars novels. I bought a, a bunch of my Star Wars collection as you can see behind me. And that was kind of the first part of 2014. I read the New Jedi Order series, which is a collection of 19 novels, and that took me a good far portion of the year. I think I started it in February and ended it in August. But then after finishing up the New Jedi Order series, I was trying to figure out where I wanted to go. My, my initial thought was that I, I would pick up with another Star Wars series. But then I realized that I really wanted to start challenging myself, that I had a very limited exposure to the literary world. I'd had only, you know, I really haven't read that many authors. I had hardly read any classics. I hadn't explored very many genres. And the few genres I had explored had been like science fiction where I'd basically read a bunch of Star Wars. So I decided that I, I really wanted to expand my horizons. I started, I started challenging myself to read at least one classic a month. I started trying to pick out authors that came highly recommended that I had never read. This is also kind of when the seed of an idea for my booktube channel started and all that. 2014 was a very good year. I, I wasn't reading as consistently as I would have liked. Like I said, I didn't have any goals or plans, so there were several periods of time, a few weeks here and there, where I just wasn't reading. But it was still very... I still consider it a very good year. Um, looking forward, I've decided that I'm going to use Goodreads to keep track of what I've read. Um, I'm going to have to challenge myself just to keep updating that because I'm really bad with stuff like that. I'm not a very disciplined person. I started a Goodreads account about the same time I started this this booktube channel and I didn't realize you, you could actually use it to keep track of how much you've read in a year and kind of challenge yourself. I'm going to challenge myself with uh, 50 books in 2015 and I, I honestly think that's a pretty realistic challenge with what I have. Uh, my goal is to, to, of those 50, to read at least 14 classic novels. I haven't decided what yet. I, I know my next uh, classic novel is going to be Emma by Jane Austen. Sorry, a little bit of a brain fart there. My wife would be very disappointed in me. And on top of that, I, so I want to do 14 classics. I also want to do six uh, non-fiction works. Um, I'm still not for sure. I've just started uh, Unbroken by Laura something or another. They're making a movie about it that I really want to see, but I wanted to have at least started the book first. But I own not a, a huge collection of non-fiction, but a decent collection of non-fiction, most of which I haven't read before. So I like the idea of reading a couple of those. I also want to set a goal for myself to only reread like three or four books this year because typically rereading is, is a huge part of what I do and I might reread even less than that. I, I would like almost all the novels that I read to be, be new novels for me. I'm going to try to introduce myself to a bunch of new authors and just uh, really work to kind of educate myself when it comes to the literary world. I'm inviting all like four of my viewers to, to uh, participate with me. If you have an author that you love, or a book that you love, or a series that you love, uh, feel free to comment and suggest it. I'm not being very picky. I'm. I, like I said, I, I kind of have it laid out what classic novels I'm going to read, although you're still more than welcome to suggest um, any of your favorites, whether it be authors or individual novels. But outside of that, I don't have very much planned. I'm kind of just going to fly by the seat of my pants. So if you, as a viewer, have a suggestion, I would really like to hear it. I'm also planning for my BookTube channel to 
become a little bit more consistent. I don't know if I'm going to be able to publish a lot more than a, a video a week, but I am going to try to get it up to about six a month. I figure that's a, a pretty good goal, goal for me, and I think it, it's pretty realistic. I also think I'll be able to post that many and still keep the content at a passable level. I, I'm always impressed by booktubers who post like four or five times a week, and their videos are always interesting. I, maybe it's because I don't go through that many books. Maybe if I went through more books, I could post more videos. But I, I really feel if I was posting two or three videos a week, that they would just be boring and basically full of nothingness. Almost feel like my videos are a little bit of that now anyways. So those are my plans uh, for 2015. They're not very detailed, but I've never done a reading goal. I've never really had a plan for my reading life. Reading's always been something that I've really enjoyed. And I'll go on, you know, I'll, I'll hit a period of time where I'll, I'll just kind of devour whatever I'm reading. But then typically I also have long gaps where I'll finish a series and then just kind of go on a book hangover sometimes for a couple of months. And that's one of the things being married to my wife has really inspired me to be a more consistent reader because she's consistently reading something. Uh, she almost never uh, has fewer than two or three books that she's in the middle of. And it really kind of made me realize that I was a very apathetic reader and kind of inspired me to get a little bit more focused about it. So I'm really looking forward to having a plan uh, and having a goal for my reading in, in 2015. I also like the idea of having this, this uh, channel to keep me accountable, even though it's not like there's a lot of people watching. But still, if if I know that someone, even just my wife, is watching, I think it'll help me uh, to, to keep focused. And I understand I'm not setting very big goals, but I'm also trying to set realistic goals. And if I don't make it, I won't be horribly upset, but I am trying to set goals that I think I'll be able to surpass just because I'm a very competitive person. So the idea of setting a goal that I think I'm going to fail at is a little bit depressing to me. But yeah, I'll be linking my Goodreads account below if you would like to follow me on that. So that's another one of my goals in 2015 is to really be consistent with updating my Goodreads channel. It's not much older than my uh, BookTube channel. And I'm still discovering what it's capable of. And it's actually a really neat site. If you don't have an account, I would strongly suggest checking it out. Like I said, I'll link that below. You're free to follow me. I would also love to hear any suggestions if you have any goals our plans for 2015, I would love to hear those. I, I think the joy of the booktube community is really the community. It's not so much that there's a few of us that have decided to be brave slash stupid enough to sit in front of a camera and put it out there for the world to see, but that you're really joining in in a conversation. I don't think you have to have your own videos to do that. I, I think you can you know, just watch other people and, and comment on that. So I would love to hear what you have planned, if you have any goals, if, if you have set any goals for yourself before re reading wise and kind of what effect you think that had on your reading life. I'm very interested to see what effect it will have on mine. Uh, again, I hope everyone had a great Christmas. I hope everyone has a great new year and I will see you all next time.